We're now two weeks into the first northern war between Israel and Hezbollah, a war that has inflicted significant bloodshed and destruction on both sides. Hostilities have escalated very quickly here, so let's now take a quick look on how it all began. The conflict erupted only three weeks ago as a result of an Israeli airstrike on a Hezbollah anti-ship missiles depot located in Syria. Two days later, Iranian proxies launched 50 missiles on the Israeli Golan Heights, killing four people, including two children. In response, Israel launched a massive attack on approximately 45 Iranian military targets located in southern Syria and the Damascus area, killing several Iranian army generals. It was the most extensive Israeli attack inside Syria for decades. Three days later, a Hezbollah drone armed with explosives entered Israeli airspace and crashed into a border community, killing 10 Israeli civilians, while mortar shells were fired simultaneously at IDF positions on the Israeli-Lebanese border. That day, the Israeli Prime Minister ordered the IDF to prepare for a large-scale operation to defeat Hezbollah in Lebanon, and added, We will do whatever it takes to protect our citizens. The world should know that the situation in northern Israel has become unbearable. Undeterred, Hezbollah continued to ramp up its campaign against Israel with a series of coordinated military actions. <laughs> So far, during the First Northern War, 15,000 rockets have been fired at Israeli communities. The war has already claimed the lives of 200 Israelis, 500 Hezbollah fighters, and approximately 900 Lebanese civilians, with millions displaced on both sides. And today, another dramatic escalation, with Hezbollah launching two precision-guided rockets aimed at Tel Aviv, killing a total of 80 Israeli civilians. Take a look. Unfortunately, given this horrible attack, the end of the bloodshed seems unlikely in the near future. <laughs>